Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you how I test my candles uh, before I put them in the market, guys. As you all know, my uh, candle romance is coming out before the different scents, and here they are. I've been testing the candles, guys, for over a year now, and now that I have the formulation, um, the, for the fragrance oils combination that I really want, now the main thing is to get a uh, configuration right, okay? It's a true challenge, guys. So I have in here all the notes for the four candles, the different wicks that I've used, the different configurations. What I'm trying to accomplish is if I could only use one wick instead of two, it would be great. Unfortunately, I have not been successful in just wicking, uh, using one wick in order to get a complete melt pool. You know, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going, I'm going to start over from the beginning. So I'm going to start with the smallest size that I can put into the candle, guys. And in this instance, I'm using two, double CDN number twos. Okay, on this one here, let me see if I can if I can show you what I'm trying to do. Let me see if I can just push it, zoom in more. So okay, guys, so these are the the two cylinders. These are uh, the Evermore cylinders from 1617, and uh, I got it in, in black and I got it in white. And then I also have the bowls, the Evermore uh, bowls in here, also in black and also in white. So it's gonna be for different scents. Yeah, I'm so excited, guys, because I finally came up with a beautiful blend of. Uh, Scents, fragrance oils that I think is gonna blow everybody away, okay? I think this is gonna be a great success for me, you know? I keep my mind positive, you know? And whatever happens, happens. But you have to really focus all your energy on that and just try to make it your best. Try pushing yourself outside of the envelope, you know? Try, uh, like I'm doing right now, I'm doing several week tests to make sure that each and every one, each, each and every candle is perfect. So far, I've been successful in weaking these two vessels in here. I've been successful by using a triple CDN number three with configuration, okay? So it's giving me beautiful melt pool because what I'm trying to accomplish, guys, is you have to sell a candle that you're able to reach a full melt pool. If you are not able to, to reach a full melt pool, which is what's happening to these two candles in here, then you fail, you know? And people don't want to buy a candle that it, on, that it can only burn half, um, half the wax, you know? Because that's money wasted, okay? So that's what I'm trying to accomplish in here. And this configuration in these two fragrance oils so far, I'm giving me what I'm looking for, okay? So I'm gonna test them again, guys. I'm gonna keep them to the side in here, okay? And I'm testing in this room. Uh, they are not drafting here, you know? It's just, uh, so, because I wanna give them, I wanna test them on the same environment, you know, to make sure that everything uh, that I'm doing, testing, is on the same environment for all the candles, okay? So these two, I just put in at 10, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so double CDN number two, guys. So let's see what happens, uh, you know? So I'll come back in an hour and check on this beautiful candle, okay? Yeah! Okay, guys, welcome back. So it's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, guys, and so let's see how we're doing. So the candles have been lit up for one hour, guys, and let's see how the process is going. Okay, so this one is the first one, this two, the cylinder. I went for the two cylinders, guys. I decided to go double CDN number two, and that's what I have in here, and I think they're going, they're going well. This one in here is it's giving me a bigger melt pool than that one over there. But I also have to remember, guys, that I did not scrape the extra wax in there. So I should have done that when I started, or may maybe uh, take, um, I should have taken the heat going and just go around it to make everything even. I didn't do that, so that's my fault. So let's see, I'm gonna wait uh, three hours and see whether or not I'm able to uh, get a, a full melt pool. If not, I'm gonna just uh, start over again, and I'm just gonna take the, uh, the heat gun and just gonna go all over them. Let's see if you can see what I'm talking about. So you see in here, guys, that's the extra wax that did not melt the last time. And the same in here, that's the extra wax. So a piece of wax in there, I'm just take it out. I should have really take the heat gun. I'm just gonna go around it, but let's see. I'm gonna keep waiting, guys. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give this three hours. Okay, so this one is work in progress. This one I'm really doing really well. You know, and this is a, a, a tricky one because this one has three uh, a bigger uh, a bigger size, okay? So this one is going really, really, really well. So I'll be happy, guys, if I can get a melt pool on these candles in here, these two, in uh, in two hours or in three hours, I'm, I'll be more than happy because you no, know, technically you're not supposed to burn this candle over uh, four hours. So, but I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna come back in another hour. So right now it's 11 o'clock, it's 5 after 11, so I'm gonna come back at noon and see 
Hope you're doing. We are back. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so guys, so it's 12 noon, and let's see how we're doing. On this is my burning test to see how the week weeks are doing. Okay, these are the cylinders that I told you before. I week down. I went to double CDNs number two. So I I think I'm gonna go back to CDNs number three, guys. I think the flame is very low in both of them. You know, uh, I think the metal pool is not there. I think this one is, uh, you know, I, I'm not happy with the flame. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's I'm not, I'm not happy with the flame. And uh, when you have that, such a low flame, you are never gonna get a good HT, okay guys? So that's one thing that you have to remember, okay? So this is not doing it for me. So I'm gonna just uh, extinguish this, this two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, I'm gonna wait until they're solidified. I'm gonna run the heat gun to make the surface even. And then I'm gonna uh, put a two a double CD in number three. Okay. Now these two, these are the bold guys, and these are the triple, uh, triple with CD in number three. I'm very happy with these results. The mail pool in this one is almost complete, as you can see. You know, this one I did a, I started with a CDN, uh, with a triple CDN number two guys, and I, I burned it like for four or five hours and it did not reach a uh, melt pool. And in these balls, you have to really like burn it hotter because you want to be able to reach um, all the size of the vessel, okay? So it's been two hours, I'm very happy with this. You know, let me see, can you see this? Okay, so these two, I decided to extinguish them. I'm gonna wake them up. Okay, this is the, the first one, this one complete melt pool in two hours, okay? And this one is this one is almost reach complete bell pool in two hours. Okay, the vessel is cool to the touch. It's a little bit warm, but it's not hot, which is what we want. The same with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this to solidify, guys. And again, I'm gonna run a heat gun to make it all even, and I'm gonna put a, a CDN over three. And we're gonna continue the test, okay, guys? Like I told you, you have to keep playing with this. You have to really like uh, try all different configurations until you get it right. The main thing that I wanna I wanna be able to get a full melt pool because people are paying a lot of money for these candles, and you wanna be able to give them uh, the money's worth. Okay, I'm very happy with this one. I think I'm gonna let this one go for another hour. You know, and I'm gonna see what happens, and then after that, I'm gonna do a power burn, but that's gonna be in another video. Okay. But so far, I'm happy with the way these two candles are really um, coming along with this triple CDN number three. Because if I put the heat gun right now with the liquid wax, it's gonna splatter all over the place. Okay. And the placement of the wicks are perfect, so I don't want to disturb them, you know. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool. I'm gonna let this uh, burn for another hour and I'll do it back, okay? Yes! Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been uh, three and a half hours since I lit the, uh, this candles up, guys. So uh, I'm very happy with the two different, uh, the two Evermore balls, guys. Uh, they are giving me complete mail pool, guys. So I'm very happy, so three hours. I'm gonna let them burn until tonight, okay? Because I'm running also a power burn. I just wanna make, I, would, I just wanna see what happens if somebody lifts it up for six hours, six, seven, eight hours, you know. Um, it's not warm, just a tiny bit. Okay, so, okay, so on this one, on the cylinders, let me show you, if you, let me see if I can just go closer. Let me just zoom in. Three. So guys, so I went and re it again with CDNs number three, because I think those are gonna give me the best results. So I went back to CDN number three, a double, so I placed them in, in in the previous hole that they had in there, the placement to keep, because I wanna keep the placement the same for all the weeks. So that way it's not a matter of, no, the wick is too big or too, or too small. It's just the placement, uh, it's just the wick itself, okay? So I took the heat gun and I went all around the candle. Let me just show you again, the you see one? Because I wanna make sure that I have an, an even level of wax. The reason you do that, guys, is because believe it or not, uh, the candle has memory. Memory meaning, uh, let's say, if I were to um, extinguish this candle right now, so I have a little bit of wax still on the sides, 
as you can see, let me just go. So I have a little bit of waxing here, guys, on this border here and in here also. So if I were to extinguish, if, if I were to extinguish this, this candle now without reaching a, a complete melt pool, that wax is not gonna melt, okay? It's gonna keep going down, so that's gonna give me um, some tunneling. And I don't want that. I wanna make sure that when I have the melt pool, everything is all the wax around it is completely evenly melted, okay? So that's why I'm gonna keep burning the candle until I reach complete melt pool. It's almost there. I'm very happy the way it is. So um, I know that for this candle, for these two candles, for the bowls, I'm gonna be using a triple CDN wick, okay? Configuration. Okay, so this one is already melted. I'm gonna let them solidify, guys. So I'm gonna come back in about a couple of hours because I want the candle to be solid, you know, real solid, you know? Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna light it up again, okay? So the testing continues, guys. This is gonna be uh, time consuming, but you have to do it for every single candle that you make in order to be, uh, in order to have the can in, in order to ensure the can the candles safety and performance okay because this remember guys this i'm selling a, a luxury candle okay so i want to make sure that all the money that i'm putting into these beautiful products for 1617.com uh, i'm going to be performing at its best and for that i need to run so many tests to make sure that i'm bringing the public the best product that i can ever bring okay okay guys so i'll see you back in an hour or two, okay? Yes! Hi guys, welcome back. So right now it's uh, almost two o'clock, so it's been four hours since I started doing the testing, guys. Uh, I'm very happy with the even more bowls in the back, guys. So I'm gonna keep burning them, guys. And then, let me show you, this is the ones that I, CDN number three, so look at how beautiful it's finished, guys. It's all nice and flat. And the next one, nice and flat. So let me trim the wigs because I've been a little bit too long. I didn't want to do that before because I want to make sure that they get solidified first. Okay guys, so I'm gonna light them up again and let's continue the testing, okay? Let me just put the time in here. So I got in touch with the people, uh, with the manufacturer, you know, and asked them, you know, what what do they think about um, which, which side is preferred when doing the wig testing and the most important thing, guys, is safety, okay? Preferably, preferably, is that how you say? It's good to have like a, a full melt pool like this, okay, like this two in, in here. Why? Because that's gonna give you the most HD that you can get into a candle, okay? If you don't have a full melt pool, don't expect the beautiful candle to give you a, a good HD, okay? That's why it's preferably to have a little bit higher of a flame so it will help with the candle's performance without being a fire hazard, okay? Right here, I'm looking at this beautiful flame. Look, I see it open already. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep this burning now, guys. Again, I'm looking for a complete melt pool. And I'm not gonna give up until I achieve that safely, okay? And the candles in the back, I'm gonna be power burning until Later, later on in the afternoon, okay? Okay, guys, so I'll see you in a couple of hours to see how these ones are doing, okay? Yes! Okay, guys, we're back, and it's been five hours. It's gonna be three o'clock. Uh, I've been sitting here, guys, all this day, just uh, doing this for you, okay? It's fine, because it needs to be done for my candle line, okay, guys? So, uh, remember, I put the CDN number threes on these two uh, vessels. I'll put them back in there. Uh, after an hour, I had an almost complete melt pool, so I decided just to uh, scratch that. And now I'm doing a double LX14, okay? They recommended to do a single uh, LX26, but I don't want to, I don't think a single, a single wick is gonna, is gonna do it in here, guys. And like, I, like, I, like I told you, you need a full melt pool in order for the HD to develop and to really like uh, perform like it should. So this is gonna need a double wicking, okay? So I'm, I'm praying that this LX14 will work but I'm waiting for the, uh, for the candle to get so solid again because it's not fair for me to light it up right now uh, because the um, the top is really like, uh, it's still warm. So I'm gonna wait a couple of hours. I'm gonna continue this until tonight and let's see what happens. And I may not have the results for this video, guys, but I wanna see you on next Sunday on my live stream, May 1st. So don't, uh, don't forget to come and join me Sunday, May 1st at 12 noon Pacific time right here on Candle Romance. 
So I'm going to give you the results of, uh, of the big testing, okay? In the meantime, I'm just going to keep this burning, guys. They're burning beautifully, you know, and I, I'm putting in here the, uh, I'm testing also. You have to test to see how warm the vessel gets because that's very important, guys, okay? Okay, this one is 105. It's perfect. That one is 99. Perfect. So, you know, it is within reasonable uh, safety zone. So you don't have to uh, worry about that. You have to test this like every single hour, guys. Again, you have to test to make sure that this doesn't get too hot, that you don't get burned. If you hold it like this, you don't want to get burned. You know, it's warm, but it's you can handle it, okay? The same with this one. It's burned, but you can handle it really well, okay? So that's the importance of my testing. It's all for performance and most overall is for safety, okay, guys? So I'm going to keep doing uh, waiting here, and I'm going to... Uh, Keep this going for a couple of more hours, but I'm gonna give you the results of my live stream, guys. So far, these are gonna be uh, I know they're gonna be used in three, uh, triple uh, CDN uh, three weeks for the Evermore balls, and this one, the Evermore cylinders are still a work in progress. So I will let you know on my live stream on Sunday, okay, guys. So, until the next video, guys, don't forget to give this a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Take a look at my other channel, Healthy Living with me, Michael. All the details are down on the description box. Okay, guys? So take care of yourself and happy testing! Yeah! Yes!